to show you how to make really quick and really easy layout that you can use to scrapbook your uh, travels. Uh, today I'm going to use a Wanderlust collection um, from Mintai Papers, of course, and uh, I'm starting with fussy cutting a lot of elements that I have already done this part. And I also has this geotag cut it out. I use my silhouette cameo to cut it out, but it's a very simple shape, so you can easily cut it out by hand. And I will be using the paper with pre-designed scenes, so it is also a good idea. Uh, this uh, this <laughs> tutorial shows you some ideas how to use this kind of paper in your projects. Um, I will be backing my geotag with a piece of a cardboard because I like to add dimension, but you probably already know it. Uh, I don't want to use small uh, foam uh, squares, so I'm just doing a bigger uh, cardboard piece to lift it up a little bit over the surface. And uh, when it will be done, I will proceed to uh, creating a composition over my page. Um, I am scrapbooking uh, pictures from uh, my this, from this year's trip to South Africa. We went there with Carola, she's the owner of Mintai Paper, to teach a few classes during the magical Mintai event. And uh, it was such an amazing adventure. Our host, Kim, was uh, so hospitable and she provided us so many occasions to visit great spots great places uh, in Africa. We went to Cape Town, we went to Johannesburg, we went to Jeffreys Bay and all those three places we taught some classes. And I'm scrapbooking pictures from the plane. Uh, we, <laughs> we were uh, flying there um, for quite a long time from Poland because it took us I don't know, 15 hours in total. Um, so I have a picture snapped in the uh, plane and I have a picture snapped through the plane window. It's already Africa on the picture. Uh, it's already uh, South Africa and it was not so long before landing. So I decided I will scrapbook all those two pictures together and I'm adding some travel related items like passports, clothes, suitcases and of course the plane. And uh, to be honest, I did scrapbook with this collection previously, but I have never had a chance to use a plane before because most of our uh, summer travels with my family are done by cars. So um, I had to use uh, elements from this collection that didn't have a plane on them. And now it's a perfect opportunity to use a plane finally. <laughs> so uh, I am uh, adding a pieces of uh, cardboard to add another layer under the pictures and I'm using 3D foam squares to mount some of the elements that I pre-cutted. Uh, I like to fussy cut uh, in advance so I just when I don't feel I have a mojo to scrapbook anything in particular I just sit down and cut out elements from the collections that I feel I am going to use quite soon because I have some ideas in my head so I just sit down and cut out as many elements as I can and then when I finally have mojo to scrapbook and time I just sit down and have plenty of elements to choose from. It's kind of making my own ephemeras. So this is a good idea for me to cut out things in advance. Uh, if you like to do it during making your project and only fussy cutting the things you really use, you can use it, you can do it this way. Um, as you can see, this paper has pre-designed scenes, so uh, I don't need to embellish a lot the bottom left corner of the uh, page. Uh, I could leave it like it is, but I wanted to add something dimensional, so I covered my composition with two suitcases, uh, not my composition, covered the pre-designed composition with two suitcases and a backpack. Um, and I used foam squares to lift them a little bit. Uh, thanks to that, it looks like <laughs> it's almost me who designed this area uh, on the layout. But see how fast it goes. I honestly doesn't have don't have to use a lot of things to create kind of a bold page. And this is the perfect idea to scrapbook any travel photos because 
This collection is kind of neutral. It has passports, globes, but nothing that points to the specific location. So we can use this uh, with any uh, spot <laughs> you visit it. Uh, plane pictures are great if you like to do a uh, camping. There are also uh, camp camping trails and uh, kind of old Volkswagen like in Scooby-Doo. <laughs> do you remember their car? So this is the car uh, that is used in this collection. It's a vintage car. And uh, after I am happy with how my elements are located, I am adding a title. I am creating a destination, South Africa title. And uh, I'm also stamping a date uh, where the pictures were snapped. And I'm almost done with embellishing the page. I just want to add something different in texture than paper. So I went through all my kind of uh, uh, <laughs> universal uh, embellishments like puffy stickers, epoxy stickers and stuff like that. And I, uh, I decided to add a few uh, puffy hearts. And uh, I will also add journaling, but I will add it on the back of the layout. I will just uh, write it on the back. I don't like my journaling to be visible. I don't like people to read my journaling. So I try to avoid adding it in the visible spots. Sometimes it's hidden, sometimes it's behind uh, the layout just for me. I splashed my page with a uh, with a dusty pink mint and it's done. This is how the page looks and you must admit it went really fast. Thank you for uh, watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe um, button so you will not miss any of the mint eye papers um, uh, videos. <laughs> Sorry, thank you for stopping by and bye bye.